Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. All of us will face and face problems and difficulties that makes us to think. Many people will say, but why? But why is this happening to me? But actually, the real true believers don't react that way. For us, the best example is our beloved Prophet Allah tested him with the most difficult trials that a person can bear in a life, from the loss of parents to the loss of children, and from laughter to exile by his loved near ones. Be sure to watch this video to the end, as we all face problems, and these three words will help you to solve them. Also, to take a benefit from this video to yourself, and so, Today we will talk about what can we do, what we need to do when Allah is testing us. Let's first listen to what Allah says in the Blessed Quran. الَّذِينَ قَالَ لَهُمُ النَّاسُ إِنَّ النَّاسَ قَدْ جَمَعُوا لَكُمْ فَاخْشَوْهُمْ قَدْ جَمَعُوا لَكُمْ فَاخْشَوْهُمْ فَزَادَهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَقَالُوا حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ Those who were warned, your enemies have mobilized their forces against you, so fear them. The warning only made them grow stronger in faith and their replied. Allah alone is sufficient as an aid for us and he is the best protector. It means those who threatened the people, saying that disbelievers have amazed against them in order to instill fear in them, but this did not worry them. Rather, they trusted in Allah and sought His help. Who are these people? And why did they say that? This is the story when Abu Sufyan was the leader of Mecca before he converted to Islam. They were the enemy of Muslims and wanted to prevent and kill the Prophet Muhammad in every possible way. There were far fewer Muslims in this battle, far fewer than Meccans. There were 313 people in total. The Meccans were preparing for war and were approaching Medina. It was the right after the Battle of Yuhud. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing for of Allah be upon him, called on his companion to gather again for a jihad against Meccanian non-Muslims. Even though they were injured, they set off, they kept going. Then, on the way people told them, the people have gathered against you, and this time they will destroy you completely. So fear them, give up, surrender. And what happened to the believers at that time? Just imagine everybody is against believers, Allah says. However, this only increased their faith and made them put even more trust in Allah. Believers said, <laughs> Allah is sufficient for us, and He is the best disposer of affairs because He managed His slaves better than other and takes care of their interests. My dear brothers and sisters, when Allah closes a door for you, second door, third or even the first door, that means that the fifth door will lead you to a better door than the others. That means it's better for you. That means only the fifth door can make you happy and can change your life. Even though you thought that is the first door. No. Allah doesn't want a bed for his slaves. He's just testing you faith that can you bear it. And say that is from Allah, because he is the best planner. But unfortunately, we give up. Believers should not lose their hope in Allah. They should always be convinced that Allah's help is near. Allah says in the Quran, Do you think, that you will be admitted into paradise without being tested like those before you. They were afflicted with suffering and adversity and were so violently shaken that even the messenger and the believers with him cried out, When will Allah's help come? Indeed, Allah's help 
is always near. Quran Al-Baqarah Ayah 214 This means that Allah will certainly test us as He tested those who were before us. Believers don't give up, but say, Allah is sufficient for us. But my dear brothers and sisters, if you give up, if you don't move on, then you will have no hope left. You will lose your hope in Allah if you wanted to work and you were not accepted or you couldn't all pass the exam first time, second, ninth, tenth times you took an exam but no results. Or you did something ten times but it didn't work out. Do you know what that means? That means that Allah tells you you work a little more. In the twelfth time, I have prepared for you better. Much better and more than you want. It's like you have to go through 12 steps to get something, but 12 steps you give up. What's happened? Are you doing something wrong and you saying to yourself that you can't do it? No. And once again, no dear brothers and sisters. This is not part of the mu'min. True believers don't react that way. Do not lose in hope is a part of Muslim, a believer, because Allah promises in the Qur'an. Say, a prophet that Allah says, O oh, my servants who have exceeded the limits against their souls, do not lose hope in Allah's mercy, for Allah certainly forgives all sins. He is indeed the all-forgiving, most merciful. In a word, during trials a person either gains greatness or condemns himself to humiliation. Right after the beautiful verse, after they say it, Allah is sufficient for us. This verse is coming. So they return it with Allah's favors and grace suffering no harm. For they sought to please Allah and surely Allah is the Lord of infinity bounty. As a result of the fact that they trusted only in Allah, Allah rewarded them with success and victory. They won. Allah immediately helped them. They deserve a great reward. How is it perfectly beautiful? So, my dear brothers and sisters, when you have a problem, when you can't solve something, or when you have difficulties and you don't want what to do, Revel in the Almighty Allah. Never lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Be patient and move on. Indeed, the help of Allah is near. And Allah will make you happy, insha'Allah. And most importantly, feel and speak with convinced. Faith is the messenger of Allah. Peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. And his companion state, Hasbunallah wa ni'man wakil. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your family, friends, and people close to you, so that they find the true path too, because the beloved Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him said, who has pointed out a good thing, received the same reward as he who has done it. Who